Okay, this is going to be deep. Yeah, it's uh, basically, it's like a Mandela effect. Um, as in, we've all known, grown up knowing, um, that the speed of light is constant. And this is something that can never be changed. Where uh, time will slow down or speed up rather than the speed of light being changed. Yeah? Um, and we've also known um, all our lives uh, that um, <coughs> there's only one way to look at a second. How long is a second? A second is one Mississippi. That's a second. Yeah? Now, if a second turns out to be one Mississippi, Sippy, that, that means what we consider to be a second has changed. Um, that's two. And number three, we've always known that the earth goes round the sun. Apparently not. <coughs> the earth goes round a berry center with the sun. Yeah? Where the earth and sun are assisting and there's a center point which uh, both of them go around. The earth doesn't actually go around the sun. It goes around the center point and so does the sun. Now, that's a berry center with the sun. The earth can also be said to have a berry center with the center of the uh, galaxy, uh, whatever is at the center of the galaxy. Let's say there's a black hole. So the earth can also be said to be moving around the berry center with a uh, black hole right, at the center of the Milky Way, right? Um, so it can also logically uh, be said that the earth is the center of the universe and the earth is going around a berry center with the rest of the universe so so when you start saying that the earth does not go around the sun yeah um well that's i mean what are we supposed to teach the next generation you ask us you know what, what's the deal we say look the earth goes around the sun but now you're saying it doesn't so what the fuck right so blew my mind right <clears throat> so also I hear that we might have two moons now. <laughs> wait, I know, wait. <laughs> they, they're saying that uh, there's the moon that we know, and then um, towards uh, the edge of um, uh, the Earth's uh, gravitational field, as far as the Earth can pull, towards the edge of its gravitational field, there is another moon there. There's another rock there that behaves like a moon. It goes around. The Earth. So now there's two <laughs> moons. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, so, anyway, <laughs> ah, <laughs> so, back to <laughs> what I was saying. Now, uh, in a previous video of mine, I um, looked at the second, what we consider to be a second, uh, where I heard of something called a sidereal second and a solar second. Now, a solar second is based on um, how long the Earth takes um, to rotate around this axis when you're actually uh referencing the sun yeah so you look at the sun the earth rotates and the next time you see it in the same place the sun that is uh, that's the solar second and then there's a side rule second where how long does the earth take to come back to one point based on a point so far away that uh, it's considered to be not moving so the side rule second is actually um the way they define it is actually longer uh, sorry, shorter than the solar second. Uh, so one solar second is actually equal to 1.00273 side rule seconds. Yeah. So um, a side rule second uh, is actually shorter than the, the, the solar second. Because um, <coughs> one side rule second is equal to 0.99 solar second, right? Um, so, if what we consider to be a second has changed, <laughs> think about it, yeah? The speed of light is, um, and, I, and I'll read it um, from, from the um, Wikipedia here, uh, well, or scientific text, anyway, I've got all of them up. So, 299,792,458 meters per second per second that's if a second is one solar second <laughs> if a second is one mississippi but 
if a second let's say a second was to be one mississippi mississippi yeah if a second uh now becomes what we knew as two seconds so it's instead of being one mississippi it's one mississippi sippy yeah then the speed of light will be twice that the speed of light will then become um two, two times um 299 million which is um 599 million 584,916 meters per second if a second was now twice was now worth two seconds yeah right so to recap if a second was now worth two seconds the speed of light would have doubled yeah we will now be saying that the speed of light is 599 million not 299 million meters per second yeah so um now that we have a solar second when you consider the speed of light uh, based on a solar second it's 299 million and change but if you consider it inside row seconds the speed of light has changed too Einstein said that will never happen yeah I know I'm a cynic yeah of course but the speed of light can change and that's how if we change what we consider to be a duration the duration of the standard units that we define speed in yeah then we can consciously change the speed of light yeah now if we start using the side row second the speed of light is going to have a different value you will write it down different instead of 299 you'll be writing 300.6 million right you'll be writing down two different values and einstein said there's only one value for the speed of light yeah and if we meet a culture out there that when they consider a second they talk about what we see as two seconds so to them when you say okay uh show me what a second is they'll say one mississippi mississippi one mississippi mississippi two mississippi and that there's two seconds three seconds yeah uh to them the speed of light will be five <laughs> when they write it down it will be 500 uh, uh million meters per second because what we consider to be a second would have changed now this is a one thing that we have to um, look at when we look at the Mandela effect. It doesn't just change, um, <clears throat> um, you know, trivial things. It, it changes reality from a fundamental level. Yeah, we're looking at a fundamental constant like the speed of light, which could potentially change. We could wake up in the morning, where people, when you ask them what a second is, they will say one Mississippi, Mississippi. You don't understand when you read your textbook you see that the speed of light is 599 million meters per second when you already knew it to be 299 million yeah when you always knew it as that yeah so um just uh, wanted to touch on on on, uh, on on relativity i won't go too deep into it you can research it you can look up uh general relativity and special relativity yeah and i think it's special relativity where they define e equals mc squared implying that the speed of light never changes yeah N numerically the speed of light never changes but it does you can consciously change it just by changing what you consider to be the duration of a second <laughs>